Hi, Marcus. This is Doug from the Locked On Hornets podcast. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Congrats on the contract. Uh, you worked out for the Hornets last week and also in the lead up to the 2016 draft. What kind of things have they told you about what they like or things that they'd like to see from you? Um, yeah, so they really like the way I shoot the ball. I think that was one thing that separated me in that workout last night is the level of shooting that I bring from three. Um, obviously, they want to see me you know, continue to grow as a player overall. But I showed my competitive edge, my willingness to, you know, be aggressive on defense and, you know, my my improved strength. Um, in terms of what they want to see me improve, obviously getting stronger is, is number one. Continue to get stronger and, and, and that'll make me a better player, better finisher, better defender and stuff. But uh, they just like the way I play. I, I'm a smart player. I make good decisions and I can shoot the ball really well. Now, last season you played for the Salt Lake City Stars. Mainly they used you in the off-guard position last season. Is that where you envision yourself as an NBA player, or do you really want to transition eventually into that true point guard role? Yeah, I think uh, I I was hopeful to get more minutes on the ball, Um, you know, as somebody that plays the one but can also move off the ball for stretches Um, because the way the league's going, you know, multiple ball handlers play together all the time. But they kind of used me as like a traditional shooting guard, which I think kind of hurt my game a little bit. It didn't allow me to do what I, you know, what my strengths are and, and showcase my abilities. So um, I'm excited to, you know, get a little bit more time on the ball and, you know, in playmaking opportunities, because um, I think that's what benefits me. Do you have a sense of what Coach Clifford, what the Hornets organization really value in that true point guard position and do you think that your skills sort of match up to that I do I do I I think you know being a vocal leader is big for this coaching staff I having talked to them the last couple days and I kind of have that naturally um and a lot of other qualities that they that they look for in a point guard um they just want to see me keep getting better you know and I think this is a perfect opportunity for that kind of having my foot in the door with the Hornets but also having a chance to really, you know, play a lot and get a lot of reps uh, in Greensboro and stuff. So I'm excited for this opportunity and I think it's going to benefit me as a player. And I think I can, I think I can help uh, both organizations. Now, the way your college career ended, I know you probably get asked about it a lot. You've said before that you've, you've thought about it a lot in the past, or at least, you know, right, right after it had happened. Do you still think about it? How have you processed it now that you've spent a year working on your NBA dream? You sort of transitioned from college into working on getting into the NBA. Yeah, I still think about it from time to time because I live in Chapel Hill. Uh, They just won the championship. You know, a lot of my boys just won the championship this year. So, I mean, I think about it from time to time, but it's far from, you know, at the front of my head. You know, everything I think about right now is, is moving forward with this, you know, great opportunity. And up until this past week, it was wondering where I'm going to be you know, working out, finishing summer league strong, all that stuff. So I've really transitioned to, you know, being a pro and not really worrying about it because I had a great career and we did everything we could. So um, I think about it a little bit, but I think those guys winning the championship helped me a lot. Have you had the opportunity to talk to uh, Kimba Walker or Michael Carter Williams yet? No, I haven't. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm up here today in Charlotte um, and then I'll probably be back, uh, I'm getting married in a couple weeks, and then I'll probably be back up to start the workouts and stuff when the rest of the guys get into town. Oh, wow. Well, good luck on the wedding prep. I've done that. So I know that, that, (laughs) uh, you know, I don't know how it is making an NBA team or which one's more difficult, but I tell you, sometimes that lead up to the marriage uh, can be uh, be quite the hectic process. So uh, uh, congratulations on both the contract and uh, the future marriage. And thank you so much for joining us here on the Locked On Hornets podcast. We're looking forward. Uh, to following you and your journey. All right, thank you. All right, you just heard there from Marcus Page, the newest addition to the Charlotte Hornets on a two-way contract. We're going to talk much more about Marcus and uh, Mango Mathiang as well, the other two-way contract, on Thursday's show, which you can view on Facebook Live on the Locked On Podcast Network's Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Locked on pods, and we will be live at 8 o'clock a.m. With uh, I'll be joined by my full panel, and we'll be talking about uh, that and much, much more.